My name's Spencer New. I'm the technical manager for Disney Theatrical and the production manager for Aladdin. My job is to provide everything that the technical departments need to put the show on that evening. On any show, there's a hundred people backstage, including technicians, automation, stage management, lighting, wardrobe, wigs, sound. So yeah, lots and lots of people. There were over 14 different costume houses in America working on all the costumes for Aladdin. We had scenery workshops from Germany and New York and also the UK working on building the scenery. The guys who put the show together have been working for six to eight months to build it and paint it and make sure it's right. The Prince Edward was built in 1937. When the theatre was built, of course, they didn't imagine that the shows of this size were going to be put in there. This show weighs 67 tonnes, which is the equivalent to four and a half double-decker buses. We had to consult with structural engineers to make sure that the show could fit in the building and hang in the building and to make sure that everything would get three metre by two metre door 15 feet above my head. There are lots of special effects in the show. There's smoke, lots of flashes. There's automated scenery that comes on and spins and turns around. There are pyrotechnics. There's a magic carpet and I can't tell you how it works, but it's brilliant. All of our side stage lights and out front are now LED lusters. It's low energy, it's more ecologically sound, it's a, a big step forward in lighting. There's lots of things we need to think about with health and safety in mind. Theatres are now subject to CDM regulations, construction design management regulations, which means hard hats, boots, safety equipment, gloves, high-vis vests when you're unloading a truck, edge protection, fall protection, eye protection, all of those things that you wouldn't consider glamorous and part of a West End musical are all the things we need to consider before we even get in the building. If you're keen and you want to learn, a great place to start is internet websites such as Stage Jobs Pro or the ABTT, the Association of British Theatre Technicians. They can give you insight into working in theatre and how to get jobs in theatre. One of the most important things to do is to watch shows. The more you see, the more you absorb what theatre's about. Years ago, there was a guy doing an apprenticeship as a pyrotechnician. It turns out that he's now the sound designer for Aladdin all over the world. It doesn't matter what you start as, you'll find your niche when you get in the job, when you, when you get yourself in a theatre and you're working, you see what else is available, and that's how you learn where your niche is in theatre.